Today's video is a simple guide for quickness firebrand. We will learn how to keep it up 100% of the time and how to provide a lot of small and passive heals for your squad. Hello everyone, my name is Johnny and in this channel we focus on making simple guides about different topics. We take it one step at a time until we understand how everything works. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. The build focuses mainly on keeping quickness up 100% of the time. So let's understand how this works. If we go to our firebrand trait line and look at our first trait, this will give quickness when you use our healing skill. And if we look at the second trait, it will give quickness when we apply ages or stability. So by using one charge of your healing skill, which will apply ages, you have now applied the two traits combined. On top of that, you have Mantra of Potence, which will apply quickness. And then we have our Elite skill, which will also apply quickness. Using those three skills combined, we can keep quickness up 100% of the time. The build is also very good in providing small and passive consistent heals for the entire squad. You have your auto attack on your mace will heal at the last chain. You have your skill number 2 on mace will apply regeneration. If we look at our traits, we have in the honor trait line, we have extra heals from our symbols every second. So now we have mace 2 will apply healing every second on top of the regeneration it already applies. And if we look at pure of heart, this is going to heal you and allies Anytime the ages you apply will block an attack and as you can see you will be applying a lot of ages with your healing skill which you will use a part of your rotation anyways to keep quickness up and then we have our adapt trait this is going to increase your healing effectiveness every time you block an attack and if we look at the grandmaster trait battle presence this is going to apply the passive effect to all your allies now that we understand how the build works, let's break it down a step by step. The first thing you want to do is always make sure your mantras charged. And be very careful not to use your last charge. Always keep at least one charge available. So the first thing we will do is use one charge of our healing mantra. And remember, this is going to apply two traits combined. And then we use two charges from our mantra of potence that will apply quickness. I will not lose the last charge so that I don't lose the mantra. And then I will use the elite skill for the extra quickness. You will use your mace too and auto attack at the same time. So let's go ahead and see how this will actually work in action. One charge from your healing mantra, two charges from your potence, elite, and then you simply spam two and auto attack. Once you are done with this, your job from now on is to simply use your charge from your mantra of heal when it's up and use another charge from your mantra of potence when it's up, use your mace too when it's ready and just keep spamming your auto attack. Same thing with your elite. Just by simply doing that, you will be providing a lot of passive heals, you will be providing constant quickness as you can see. The gear we are using will be Rurik armor with rebirth rules. And remember that we always select the cheapest armor while still making our build effective. And then we have a shaman mace with a shaman shield. Both of them will have a platinum Dublin in them. We have a cleric amulet with two shaman rings. We have two twisted in a jar as an accessory. And we have a rare backpack magi. All of them will have exquisite sapphire jewel. All of them combined should be about 10-15 gold. You can make the build even better if you have some extra gold to spend. But I try to make things very easy, very cheap and very simple for everyone to encourage you to get started. The food will be salt pastry and the oil will be peppermint oil. It's important to know that this build is a quickness firebrand build, not a healing firebrand. Although you will do plenty of passive heals, they are not enough to make you a full-time healer. 
You can use this build in strike missions or in low level fractal, in dungeon and open world methods. They will be very useful in all of those. I would love to know if you found the build easy enough to keep quickness up and if you notice an increase in your build DPS. So please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see a similar guide for a certain build, you can post your request in the comments. I plan to do more simple build guides like this one for other classes, so please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date and support the channel at the same time. Thank you very much for watching.